Hello everyone, it's a rather exciting day for me. This year I started planting broccoli for the first time and I have I sowed these from seeds indoors sometime late April to early May and they just keep growing but I am not seeing any head of broccoli coming up on my broccoli plant so I started eating the leaves as vegetable and my sister got mad at me no 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 you're killing the plant so guess what I see there is one two Three. Let's see if there is any more. Okay, I can see a small one coming up right there. Let's see. Right there is another one coming up. So that is four heads of broccoli that I see coming up so I'm excited but I'm a bit concerned at the same time because as you look at the leaves of the plant you will see that I am having problems with these pests and there are tons of them that the garden is just covered with these butterflies laying their eggs on my plants so I am a bit concerned because the rate at which they're eating it I can hardly keep up with them because I have a lot of cabbage I have, I have Chinese cabbage I have the kale I have the broccoli I have the Russian kale so it's a lot of food for these cabbage moths and they have ruined my Chinese cabbage as you can see it's all ruined in fact there is something going on with this cabbage that I am not even sure what is the cause of it let me see if it no this one doesn't have that uh, not this one either Okay, here is one. I've never seen anything like this. And they are starting to seed, but the inside of the plant is rotting. And I don't know. Let me get over to here. There's a wasp that seemed to like me. And I don't really like him. Right. So, they're starting to seed but I noticed that the inside of them is rotting and so this one has rotted down to that tiny little thing there I'm hoping that I will be able to get some seeds from it if you have any experience with this sort of thing where the plants start to rot from inside out then please let me know how you deal with a situation like that so that in case something like this should occur again I will know how to deal with it so I pretty much lost all of my Chinese cabbage to this thing and to the moths even my Russian kale is in a really really bad state and I am attempting to treat it but unfortunately I'm going to be out of town for all of next week which means that my plants are going to be suffering because I'm not here to take off those caterpillars off my plant but anyway um, I will try to see if I can get someone to come and just at least use the hose to give it a heavy spray to see if we can at least beat off some of those
worms off my plant another good news for the first time since I have been in Canada all these 10 years I actually have okra on my okra <laughs> on my okra tree I've planted okras maybe three times already and most times they do not germinate or if they do germinate they just grow to maybe three inches last year I had one that grew to about six inches but it never did anything but here as you can see this one is producing and that one is preparing to produce as well I don't know how well they're gonna do and the same thing for my melon unfortunately my melon does not seem to be recovering from the pesticide that I used a few weeks ago but for the first time this year I have tiny melons growing on my melon plant so there is one and another one is right there they're very small about an inch and a half in diameter but I'm excited whether or not they come to fruition because it means that I am making progress because the previous years when I planted melon the plants were not this big and they didn't even reach the flowering state but now I have two melons on here so it means that even if I don't get to harvest anything this year next year I should be able to harvest something because I'm seeing improvements each time so I am exciting now my apple tree is just dropping apples like crazy I can see that they are ready for harvesting and this year they are really sour it is not really a sweet tree anyway it's always sour but this year it takes the cake it is extremely sour so I'm going to be using them for juice and to make jam for the kids and who knows I might find something else to do with them my other apple tree over there though doesn't seem to be losing any of the apples they're not quite ready yet so we will see how that goes my broccoli that is planted in the ground these ones haven't started producing oh i beg to differ there is a head of broccoli but it seems to be huh, discoloring and I can't even get in there to give you a close-up because as you can see on my carrots here that I'm growing for seeds I've got lots and lots of wasps wasp and flies and other insects but I don't want to be stung again I got one this year already and that is enough for me it's been three weeks and my leg still feels hard in that section where I got stung so no nah, I don't want anymore my lettuce over here they are quite luscious I'm not sure what's happening here because I've never grown this variety yet but from what I am seeing I am assuming that it is preparing to go into seeding I don't know how much time we have left in the growing season so I do not know if I'll be able to get seeds from it I'll definitely be able to harvest some carrot seeds that's for certain but whatever the case may be, it seems as if quite a few of my plants this year I will be able to get seeds from. My, what is that called? Um, oh, romaine cabbage. 
I have never planted romaine cabbage, but when I buy it at the store, this year I decided to just stick one of them that was spoiling into the ground and it is being eaten of course by the cabbage worms but as you can see it is producing seeds for me so I won't be needing to buy any seeds this year these seeds are pretty much close to being mature so I am excited about that I really don't like to buy seeds because of the small quantity that most of them come in and I don't find them to be cheap but anyway I'm excited about that my cucumber is not lacking in nutrients but the leaves are a bit yellow they don't look they don't look sick but they don't look healthy at the same time but at least I am starting to see a few cucumbers this is the largest one on it so far and don't ask me what variety it is because I have no idea oh I'm seeing another one here right I had to go in and hand pollinate this cucumber plant because it just was not it was just flowering 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 and not producing anything okay there's another cucumber so I had to hand pollinate it so I am excited I am seeing quite a few fruits so I guess my labor was not in vain I feel so sorry for these kales look at them they look more like a large sift than kale they are not doing well and that down there is a romaine lettuce that I got from the store and I attempted to plant it for seeds as well and I did that I had four of them that I put in here and they just rot right in the root I've never seen anything like that because the bin is not being over water. I water once per week and the bottom of the bin is compost with a bit of soil on top and then a bit of compost again. So I know I don't need to water it regularly because I have that compost in there that will hold a bit of the moisture. Anyway, that is what is happening. Here is another one of my melon plant. I definitely don't think that I will be getting anything from it because at this time of year, usually your plants start to yellow because of the approach of fall. So I am seeing quite a few of the trees around me starting to yellow just a bit some areas more than others and there as you see on my color low it is starting to yellow as well so i know that we don't have much time left in the growing season here this one is yellowing pretty badly too so it means that pretty soon i am going to be harvesting what can be harvested some of the materials um like my color low and stuff like the kale i am going to be freezing so we will see how that goes i don't know what's going on for these cabbage these carrots yet they're looking quite nice quite healthy and luscious so we'll see what the harvest will be like on those for this year I'm not going to harvest them yet. I'm going to wait for as long as I can before harvesting them. But I definitely need to harvest those apples before I leave for my trip next week because they are overripe and I can tell they're going to be falling off and they're going to be spoiling. So I have to make sure I harvest them and 
make good use of them for now my tomatoes too they are not doing too badly but I think they are a bit stunned from the cold weather that lasted a bit longer than it should have but they are still producing for me so that's not bad my rosemary sorry my lavender seem to be picking up and so is my thyme and this is my son's tomato plant he planted it himself uh, my little baby boy and this is my daughter's tomato plant And I've got some really nice, really nice looking tomatoes here. I can't wait until they're ready to just take a juicy bite out of them. Oh yeah, I'll be enjoying some sandwich this, this season with my own grown slicing tomato. Now look at this poor, poor... Chinese cabbage it is trying so hard to grow oh my goodness what are those I have to get in closer I am seeing insects that I have never seen before in my entire life I wonder could these little things be what is eating down my plants like that can you oh he flew away are they there to eat the creatures that are on the plant I can't seem to get a good picture of them they are so small and hiding let's see yeah I'm not getting a good picture of them Okay, that's what they look like. I'm not sure what they are. But they are all over this plant. And by the way, as I can see, this Chinese cabbage is seeding up. And it seemed to be doing better than those in the high raised bed. So hopefully at least this one might be able to give me some seeds. But then I don't know about planting them either because I don't know what those insects are. Anyway, I guess I will be finding out. Oh. I wish I could get a close-up of them so I can figure out what they are. Anyway, that is it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so to give me a thumbs up and to leave a comment in the section below thank you for watching and have yourself a lovely afternoon